balance that reaction. Well, the thing is, though, you're going to look at it and say, well, chem guy, I'm kind of stuck because, uh, you know what? I see the tins and I see the manganese, but I don't see no oxygen on the right-hand side. Sometimes you're going to be given by your teacher, and most likely by a university textbook. They're going to say, here is the net reaction, the net reaction that's going to take place. And you're going to say, yeah, but you're missing the oxygens. Right. So then they say, balance this reaction now. And you're going to say, I can't balance it. Well, what you're going to do is you're going to recognize that because there's a change in oxidation number from one side to another for something, that this is going to be a redox reaction. So here's the thing. What you're going to do is you're going to make your own half reactions. Because remember uh, me saying to you before that even if you're doing with oxidation number balancing and stuff, the idea is that you really got two half reactions when you identify the oxidizing and reducing agents. So if that's the case, we're going to invent two half reactions and come up with the real equation that's going to represent this kind of broken down equation here. And how do you do that? By recognizing and doing this. That when you need to, to add oxygen, like we do here, you add water. And when you need to add hydrogens, you add H positive. And then you balance each of the half reactions with electrons, and that's it. Then you add them together like there are two half reactions. Okay, so here's how it works. You look at this and you say, well, if I were to break this down to two half reactions, what would they be? Well, first of all, let's think about it. The MnO4 negative has to make the Mn2 positive because it's got the Mn's in it. And the Sn2 positive has got to make Sn4 positive. Well, you know what? I can balance this half reaction right away. I don't need any oxygens, don't need any hydrogens. All I need to do is balance the charges. And if I've got two positives here and two electrons here, which side gets the two positives and four positives? Which side gets the electrons? It's going to be this side because two negatives and four positives makes two positive total. This is your oxidation half reaction. That's the reducing agent right there. Now, what is going to happen here? Well, look, so you got MNs, one and one, but you got oxygens here and none here. When you need oxygen, add water. So we're going to add water to this side. But now we've got four oxygens, so we need four waters. But what about the hydrogens? When you need to add hydrogen, add H positive. So, you, need, you got hydrogens here, you need hydrogens over here, you need to add H positive. How many do you need? Well, there's eight here. There's four times two. Be careful, that's eight. You need eight H positives there. Well, now, that's all balanced atomically, but not electrically. But this is a half reaction, so you can balance adding electrons. Eight positives and one negative is seven positives on this side. Two positives over here. So what side's going to get the negatives? Well, the one that's more positive. And so therefore, you're going to have to add electrons to this side. And how many? Well, if you add five, five negatives and one negative is six negatives, and eight positives is two positive total here, and two positive total there. Woohoo! Guess what? You got a half reaction that's got reduction and one that's oxidation. You know that you have to multiply this one by five to be able to add them together because the electrons have to cancel at 10 lost and 10, <laughs> 10 gained. So that looks pretty intimidating in terms of all the numbers you have to, to, to consider. But in the end, what you're going to get is you're going to get 16H positives plus 2MnO4 neg uh, negatives plus 5SN2 positives. And that's going to make 5SN4 positives plus Mn2 positive plus 8H2O. And better put that 2 there, chem guy. Okay, and there is now your balanced reaction here for that. So this is called the half reaction method for balancing. So when you need oxygen and water, hydrogen H positive, and then balance with electrons.